right, and let's look at free response problem one on 2016 AP Calc practice exam. And this is a calculator allowed one, so make sure you take advantage of your calculator. So we got a company produces and sells chili powder. Powder. The company's weekly profit on the sale of X kilograms of chili powder is modeled by the function P given by this thing. Where P of X is in dollars and X is between 80 and zero, including 80 and zero. Part A, um, find the rate in dollars per kilogram at which the company's weekly profit is changing when it sells 32, when it sells 32 kilograms of chili powder. Is the company weekly, is the company's weekly profit increasing or decreasing when it sells 32 kilograms of chili powder? Give a reason. Okay, so um, remember when we're talking about rate, that's the, the derivative. Let's find the derivative of this function. So we want to find P prime and evaluate it at 32. And if we get a positive number, it's going to be increasing. If it's negative, it would be decreasing. If you evaluate P prime of 32, um, which I, I'll save you some time, but I did it in my calculator already, um, you'll get about 65.92. And that means it's increasing again because the, the rate of change is positive. So make sure you mention that. Part B. How many kilograms? Whoa, whoa, let me zoom in a little bit. How many kilograms of chili powder must the company sell to maximize its weekly profit? Justify your answer. Okay, so um, we want to see essentially um, where um their profit or the rate of change of the profit um is gonna you know change from positive to negative. When where is it, where is it gonna be zero? So um. I remember I mean, this is the graph of the derivative. And remember, the derivative describes how the um, function is changing. Whenever the derivative is positive, the function is increasing. So it's good. It doesn't matter how positive it is, it, as long as it's positive. But you can see over here, if we analyze it. Can you zoom in a little more? About 58.358. We got a zero. So that's where it levels off. That's where um, um, it's going to not be profiting anymore. So you want to basically have it all up until that value because all of this is accumulating profit. As soon as we get past that point, we're losing money. So that's essentially what I wrote. Um, again, you, you don't really even need to draw a graph. Um, just make sure you mention like what you're basically looking from looking at yeah, I was looking from the you, the sign of the derivative again look at the sign the, not necessarily the, the number but when it changes from positive to negative all right the next one the company plans to have a one day sale on chili powder management estimates that TRs after the company store opens chili powder chili powder will sell at a rate modeled by the function s given by this function s of t equals 2 plus the cosine of pi over 2 pi over 10 t squared kilograms per hour based on this model estimate the amount of chili powder in kilograms that will be sold during the first 5 hours of sale um so this is kind of testing if you understand how you how the relationship between um, in integration and differentiation and the original function. So when you integrate this S of T, you're gonna get basically the, the actual, um, the, the amount, the amount that's, that, that's accumulating from that time. So in this case, the amount we're, like, we're talking about the chili powder. So we wanna integrate from zero to five. If you just integrate this, that'll tell you how much chili powder is um, sold. And you can do this calculation in your calculator. Um, I'll show you though, just in case you're wondering. But um, they don't, again, they don't really, they're not, they don't, they're okay with this. They don't want tedious work because they're not looking for that. But um, if you have this guy, whoa, whoa. You can go to your default screen and apologize about the slanted lines. Calculus numerical integral. And here you can plug and evaluate your integral. 
for s of t. Always be careful that you enter it correctly, enter it incorrectly. Because um, I know under during a test, it's, it's kind of stressful because you have to be quick, but not too quick where you make a mistake and screw yourself over. Focus on being correct rather than being quick. And this times t squared pi or x squared, we'll put. Respect to x, so hopefully I didn't make a mistake. Here we go. All right, cool. 11 points, yeah, there you go. So make sure you practice a lot with this because you can't just learn this on the fly when you're taking the test. And the last part, using the function from part C, find the value of s prime of three. Interpret the meaning of this value in the context of the problem. So it's basically talking about the rate of change of s, the rate of change of this, which is talking about um, the rate at which this chili powder is being changed, or chili powder being sold. So then we have the rate of the rate because the derivative of the rate, we were just talking about the, um, the, the like kind of think of it as speed versus acceleration. Speed is your, you know, is your rate, you know, your, how fast you're moving, but acceleration is how fast the rate of change of your rate of change, or basically how fast your um, velocity or speed is changing. So we say at three hours, because we're evaluating at three, the rate uh, that chili powder sells is decreasing. The rate of the rate, sorry, the rate of the rate that chili powder sells is decreasing since because it's negative at 0.582483 kilograms per hour per hour. And yes, they want to per, make sure you do per hour per hour. Um, I know this kind of sounds weird, but it it did it does make it make sense. But, um, if you're taking physics, you'll it'll be a little, be a little easier for you to understand that. But um, just go with it; you'll catch on to it um, because they will mark you down if you don't do that. Okay, so um, I hope this helps. Um, again, feedback is always welcome, whether good or bad. Just let me know if I need to explain something better. And the, you know, leave me a comment. Um, that um, I tell, I I will do my best always to to read those and get back to you. Um, but if you like this video, you know, I hope you did. Give me a like and make sure you have you subscribed if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna do the second career response problem in the next video.